call the meeting to order. Uh, please stand for a salute to the flag and a moment of silence. Please. Dr. Baldino. Mr. Cannon. Mrs. Donahue. Mr. Elling. Present. Mr. Johnston. Here. Mr. Knopf. Here. Ms. Lynch. Here. Mr. Scaff. Here. And Mrs. Smith. Here, seven members present. Um, technology department, do we know what's causing the echo? Yeah, they're, all, they're all on mute there. That's better. All it's right. like it's gone. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. We have a presentation for Woodward Elementary School. We have two presentations for you tonight, but the first up is Woodward Ed Elementary, as you said. Um, just a reminder for the board members and the public that each month we've decided to have each one of our elementary schools provide an update to you about what's going on in their schools. Um, as you know, we've also added secondary reports from Bucktail High School, Central Mountain High School, and Central Mountain Middle School through student government. And so this is our way of sharing school information from the elementaries with you. Good evening. As Dr. Martin said, we've been asked to share with you what it might be like to be a student at Woodward Elementary. We have a group that we have brought with us here tonight, Mrs. Vittorio, Lucas Jordan, Jack Davis, Sawyer Hanna, Crystal Parks, and Amelia Grieco. I'm Rolanda Murdy. I'm the principal at Woodward Elementary School. At Woodward Elementary, we are all leaders and we are all learners. Our student ambassador team is made up of third and fourth grade students who hold leadership positions in the school. Changes. We do you want to wait till we can get that technology fixed there? Let's see if this will that. Microphone. Yeah. She could repeat that. I'm not sure the people that are online could hear it. At breakfast, lunch, recess, and dismissal, we make suggestions to improve our school, and our ideas turn into changes we see within our school. Our PTO is made up of a group of parents who support our school. They give their time to make sure we have special opportunities, like our parade float, field trips, and special events throughout the year. At Woodward Elementary, we believe that everyone who has a job in the building is a teacher. All of our adults in our building go above and beyond to support students and their families. At Woodward Elementary, we are connected to our community and without leaders and supporters inside and outside of the school, we couldn't do all the things we do each and every day. Decisions that you have to make. That's Remington Love. 
she wasn't able to be with us, and this is what she said. January is School Board Appreciation Month. And we thank the Keystone Central School District school board members for supporting us in all of the decisions that you have to make. We have a little something for you to watch, and we have a little something for each of you. I got a good, good, a good feeling. Yeah. I got a good, good, a good feeling. I got a good, good, a good feeling. Yeah, I'm up on the cloud, ain't coming back down. And I knock it out. I'm about to blow, ready on the go, steady shining brighter than I ever did before. When I'm up in the clouds and I ain't coming down, no, I ain't coming down. Oh no, I'm the talk of the town. I know you're feeling it now. Come on and move to the sound and keep it going, keep it going and turn it up loud. I got a good, good, a good feeling. Yeah, I'm up on the cloud, ain't coming back down. I got a good, good, a good feeling. Yeah. yeah, I'm up on the cloud, ain't coming back down. Starting at the tip of my toes, feeling in my head and my clothes. Oh, look, ain't nothing holding me back. So I don't gotta heal the smack no more. Play it loud when I walk in the door. I got the pedal pushed down to the floor and about to bring it home. Yeah, it's time to let them know. Yeah, it's time to let them know. So let's go. I'm the talk of the town. I know you're feeling it now. Come on and move to the sound. And keep it going, keep it going. And turn it up loud. I got a good, good, a good feeling. Coming back down. I got a good, good, a good feeling. Yeah. yeah, I'm up on the cloud, ain't coming back down. I got a good, good, a good feeling. I got a good, good, a good feeling. I got a good, good, a good feeling. Yeah. I get that good, good feeling. Ooh, no, I get you, you get that good, that good, good feeling. Ooh, no, I get you, you get that good, that good, good feeling. Ooh, no, I get you, you get that good, that good, good feeling. Ooh, no, I get you, you get that good, that good, good feeling. We want to give special thanks to Michelle Hanna, who is one of our parents, as well as one of our substitutes at Woodward Elementary for putting this together for us. We want to give another special appreciation to everyone who came and represented us, as well as Mrs. Dufour and Mrs. Noel who joined us and all of our family members who came with us tonight. We can't do what we do without all of the individuals that you see here tonight and all of the individuals that you see listed here who support us as well as all of you. So once again, thank you for the opportunity to share a little bit of Woodward with you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you very much. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank very, you. very well done. Thank you. Well, looks like we have another one, Dr. Martin. Yeah, so the um, second presentation tonight is really um, part of School Board Appreciation Month, which is every year in January. Um, we, we let you know that last, um, last week that we'd be celebrating with you. So the first thing is there's a gift bag with um, at each of your places. And in there is a gift that was made by our students 
in the machine trades um, classes of our career and technical center. So if you wouldn't mind opening that. So you'll see that there's a coaster set there, with the district um, logo on it. It's a set of four coasters that the students made for you. That's cool. It's very nice. Very nice. And the other surprise is a video, which some of our um, participants are here tonight as well. Um, but I will say that there were some students and teachers involved in creating this board appreciation video. Um, students from Central Mountain Middle School are fifth grader Hadley Crawford, sixth grader Tan Tanner Crawford, seventh grader Arabella Anaskanich, eighth grader Emmeline Crawford, Central Mountain High School, 12th grade student Juliana Anaskanich, and Mrs. Christina Anaskanich and Mr. Clayton Quarter were the teachers who helped put this together. I also wanted to give a shout out to Patty Stevenson, who couldn't be here tonight. She's sick, but she um, had um, initiated this thought um, with Christina through an idea she had seen somewhere. So um, we're going to go ahead and push play and then let the video speak for itself. Good evening and welcome to the regular meeting of the Keystone Central School District Board of Education. and welcome to the regular meeting of the Keystone Central School District Board of Education. Our agenda tonight is of, of the utmost importance, so let's get right down to business. Is there a motion to approve this agenda? I move that we approve the agenda. I second it. We have a motion and a second. So all those in favor of approving this agenda, please say aye. 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 Motion passes. The agenda is approved. Our first order of business is to discuss the quality of members serving on the Keystone Central School District Board of Education. Would anyone like to begin this discussion? I would like to begin by pointing out that these board members are not just your average community members. These people are going above and beyond to ensure that the students and faculty in the Keystone Central School District have the resources they need to be successful both in and out of the classroom. I believe that they should be commended for their hard work and dedication to our school community. I agree. They hold two meetings like this every month, plus monthly committee meetings and they attend a variety of other meetings where they represent our schools and the community. They build partnerships and assure that we have the resources and technology we need to succeed. That takes a lot of time and effort. Plus, let's face it, it's not an easy job. All the decisions they make impact our whole entire school district. That's over 3,359 students. They have to improve what the students are learning and when they're learning it. They have to make sure the taxpayers' money is spent wisely and they always have to pay attention to, to what is going on the legislation. Have you seen the renovations that they've made to our schools and the plans for future renovations that are already underway? Wow. They are constantly trying to improve the look and feel of our schools, which adds to our school culture and climate. They really do care a lot about our entire school community. They probably have to answer a lot of emails, messages, and phone calls throughout these processes, and they are probably asked a lot of questions when they are out and about in the community. Plus, these people probably have kids or grandkids of their own. They want to do what's best for them and for everyone else in the entire school district. They also have to make decisions on how to keep our schools open, teachers teaching, students learning, and everyone else safe. All of the faculty, teachers, administrators, ministerial professionals, paraprofessionals, custodians, nutrition team, athletics personnel, bus drivers, and all others should really be commended for their hard work. Wow, school board members really do have a tough job. I'd like to thank Bush Knopf, Roger Elling, Jeff Johnson, Tracy Smith, Polly Donahue, Elizabeth Lynch, Chris Scaff, William Baldino, and Tom Cannon for their work on behalf of all of our students. Can I get a motion to approve? I make a motion to approve. I second. All in favor, please say thank you, school board members. Thank, thank you, school board members. <laughs> so thank you for making that video. I, thought I got to see it for the first time um, about two hours ago. and <laughs> I thought it was wonderful. Was really so thank cute. you again. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank Absolutely. you. That's awesome. Appreciate that. <laughs> Did a good job. So who came up with the idea to actually do the school board thing? 
Patty had the idea. Was it Patty? Yeah. She saw it. She saw it somewhere from another school district, and she thought it was great. That's awesome. That really they personalized nice. the script to you. That's great. Good job. Huh. I'd like to thank the future school board members <laughs> for uh, that presentation. That was awesome. And I noticed somebody up there was kind of trying to dance while she was up there. I wonder who that was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. Well, we have one visitor signed up tonight, Christina. Well, figure out one of the microphones at work. Um, it, give it a try and see if it works, Christina. Give it a little second to catch. It. Does it work? Yeah, but yep. if you go there, then you can be seen. Uh, looks like they've got you on camera right there. You're good. Okay. Oh, um, so I just wanted to basically reiterate what the students said in their video. And after being in the district for seven and a half years now, I just want to tell you how proud I am to be here and how proud I am of our district. And I know there's a lot of people doing a lot of amazing things. Um, our principals are working really hard to improve the culture of our school day in and day out. Um, the last two days, I actually had an opportunity to be part of a circle group with our entire sixth grade student body. And it's just really awesome to see the different things that are happening within our schools. And it's just, we're, we're moving in such a great direction. And it just gives me goosebumps to really think about where we're at, um, the direction that our students are going in. I mean, they're constantly ending up basically leading the school and leading a lot of projects. And that is really, truly exciting for me as a teacher, but also as a parent to see our students take on leadership roles and do things that they might not always feel comfortable with, but at the end, they have smiles on their faces. They feel accomplished. And it's just, thank you. Thank you for all the people that you have put in the right places in our district. Thank you for supporting all of the endeavors that people have come to you with and just keep doing the best job you're doing. We all appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, next, uh, superintendent's report. So the only um, key things that I wanted to share with you, and I know that many of the board members were present yesterday at the groundbreaking for the Liberty Curtain Elementary School. Um, I know that um, those of you who were there saw some of the emotion on the folks who were present and um, how excited they were mm -hmm. um, for that uh, milestone to occur. Um, and so I just want to thank the, the facility committee for their hard work on that project up to this point and um, thank you again for that that milestone and um, I also just wanted to let you all know that I've been working with directly with Dr. Redman a couple days this week and getting him ready for transition um, we've been checking off a whole lot of lists of, of um, information and documents and things that we have needed to to get through so that he can be ready to start on February 1 and as you know, your next work session is February 1 and he'll be here at the helm with you. So I think that he'll be ready to roll and uh, keep things moving along for the district. And then the last thing, I, if, um, if you could afford me the opportunity to read a farewell message, um, since this is my last board meeting with you, um, I could do that. <laughs> so as I head into retirement at the end of January, I do so with great pride and much gratitude. This career opportunity allowed me to finish my educational journey in the same district in which it began as a kindergarten student at Sugar Valley Elementary School almost 50 years ago. When I was chosen to be the superintendent of the Keystone Central Schools five years ago, I knew that there was a lot of work to be done and that the road would not be easy. While no one could have anticipated a pandemic and the number of tragedies that have occurred during my tenure as a superintendent, I'm confident that I gave my best effort to leave a legacy as a leader and that I've grown personally and professionally during my time here. I wish to thank our board members, teachers, staff, students, and their families for being a part of this journey because together we've been able to achieve incredible things. In addition to our normal business, I would like to share some notable district accomplishments from the past five years. 
We developed a future-focused comprehensive plan in which we committed to developing lifelong learners who are adaptable, resilient, productive, and of high moral character. We developed a profile of a learner that identifies the skills and attributes needed for students to be prepared for the challenges and opportunities of the future. Our boardroom to classroom efforts to support our students can be evidence from board policy to staff expectations to student outcomes. For several years, we navigated the challenges of COVID-19 pandemic making shifts from remote to hybrid to full in-person learning while implementing creative strategies to meet the needs of our students and their families. We provided meals, technology tools, and social services in addition to keeping classes on track. We've added new programs and revised curriculum in a process that includes all content areas. We developed common assessment guidelines that focus on rigor and in writing. We have implemented new curriculum for elementary STEM, elementary literacy aligned to the science of reading and a new math program in our elementary schools, which has contributed to significant growth outcomes. Our career and technology center has expanded from 10 programs to, to 13. Enrollment in our CTC has increased from 230 students to 580 students. We've increased our local business and industry partnerships from three to 101 which has created endless opportunities for our students to work and gain employment. We have the first registered apprenticeship program in machine trades and are implementing two pre-apprenticeship pre programs. A multi-tiered system of support and positive behavior program in all schools have provided much needed support and services for all students. We have added behavior specialists, counselors, and social workers to meet the needs of our students. We commissioned a facility study to prioritize aging facility projects. We crafted a 10-year plan and embarked on several energy saving projects that would produce long-term savings and efficiencies. We renovated Bucktail High School and replaced windows, doors, roofs, and HVAC across all other school buildings. Our athletic facilities have been greatly improved with new artificial <coughs> turf and natural field upgrades for soccer, football, baseball, and softball, while we also resurfaced the track. We improved playground safety, parking lots, security cameras, and technology. And yesterday, we celebrated the groundbreaking for the new Liberty Curtin Elementary School, which will benefit our students in our community for many years to come. Through a lot of hard work, our facilities are now great places to learn and work. We've created balanced budgets annually with minimal impact on taxpayers by increasing revenue sources. These budgets permit us to adequately fund our programs with services and equipment. We have built financial stability through healthy, uh, healthy reserve accounts and investment choices while increasing our credit rating to the highest level. Our administrators and professional staff have engaged in professional learning with instructional technology, literacy, math, trauma, restorative practices, behavior, and many other topics. Our support staff has worked tire tirelessly to keep our schools open and improving. From maintenance to custodial to food service to bus drivers and secretaries, these folks have provided the much needed support for learning to occur. I can honestly say that these and many other projects would never have been completed without the collaborative work of so many people in our organization. I'm especially proud of our administrative team and how much they have grown over the past five years. Students are my why for being a public school leader. You are the future and I will forever be proud of your passion, resilience and fortitude. Thank you to everyone in our community for your support and inspiration. <coughs> well, where do I go from here? Thank you. <coughs> Thank I, you, Roger. I've had the uh, like yes. There you go. On behalf of the board, <laughs> that's hiding your face. <laughs> so. See, we'll hide you now, so yeah. you don't have to see. It's <laughs> um, uh, very yes. nice. It's very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Just a little show of our gratitude from the board from working with you through these years. I know personally, I've been involved with school districts since 2008. I've dealt with four different superintendents, some good, some bad, some great, and you fall in the last group. So Aww. thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if I could just piggyback on that, Butch, for a moment. Um, I've have the privilege of working with Dr. Martin now pretty much for her, her entire term here. And <clears throat> it has truly been an honor and a privilege to, to work with you. And as I've told you many times, you're one of the best, if not the best superintendent that, that I've had the chance to be associated with. And 
you've uh, you've made us all proud, and you've done a just provided tremendous leadership for this this district, and it's been, as I said, my pleasure and an honor to work with you. I I appreciate all you've done, everything you just read. It's been a lot of work. There's been a lot of ups and downs along the way, and uh, you've left this place, and you've in really good shape and in your legacy will go on for a long time. So thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. Thank you, Joe. I'll try. All right. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right, my turn. So like I've already told you, okay, before you came on, I was your biggest critic, okay? true <laughs> um but over the time that you've been here the things that you've done and the way that you've brought this community and this district and the things that you've done for us you know the, everything that you said there plus the advocacy that you've shown for this district you know, I feel like I'm losing my sister. <laughs> Just saying. So, thank all right. You, so, thank you. I, I don't think a lot of people realize how much it takes to be a superintendent. Those of us that have been around the district and are here at the board meetings and all the uh, committee meetings see that you're part of it. So, you can't have much of a home life because this actually is your home. <laughs> So we become your home and family. So again, thank you. Thank you. And along with the board members who, who spoke tonight, I also want to thank some of the former board members who have been really supportive in my tenure, and um, including Debbie Smith and also um, Eric Probert and Bo Miller, who have also been huge supporters and wonderful board members in my tenure. I just wanted to say also, echo what everyone said. Jackie, I have a great amount of respect for you. Um, I'll never forget our first meeting at Liberty Curtain when I was in tears because I was afraid it was going to be closed. And, um, <laughs> you know, here we are building a new school and I have a huge amount of gratitude for that. You've done a great job here and, um, you're going to be missed. Thank you, Polly. Anyone else? Okay. We'll move right ahead. Um, uh, Yes, we're going to reports, uh, nothing there. Information and discussion of the treasurer's report, financial report, and enrollment. Okay, it's not on here. All right. Uh, we, we can do it next month unless you want it to well, add. Well, I think maybe you agree, Chris? We have a yeah. committee um, report for the uh, policy, policy committee. committee. Uh, we met on January 10th. Uh, we had eight, eight people present. We discussed uh, the naming rights. Uh, Mrs. Lynch or Ms. Lynch and Dr. Martin have been working real hard on this policy, on the naming rights policy, and we moved it to do the first read in February. Uh, on some remote work, we're going to discuss the policy. It'll be discussed with the personnel committee and the PIC committee uh, with the ACCE. And then we'll go from there. That's stuff we're gonna be upcoming. The KCSD policy, silical review on independent study, current events, field trips. We're gonna be bringing that up. We moved that on to the next one. And uh, we had two PSBA revisions and we're gonna handle that at the next meeting and move it forward. Dr. Martin sent an email out today that she got some clarification that we needed. So then we can move on with that at the next next month. That was it. Okay, any questions on the policies? All right, with that being said, Mr. President, I would like to go ahead and move the entire agenda except for those items specifically removed for separate consideration. We have a second. We have a motion to move the agenda. We have a I second. will second that. Any questions? Anything? Anything? One, one held. 
No. no. We have a motion and a second to move the entire agenda. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. All right. Uh -huh. Well, motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> that was quick. That, yeah. yeah. I don't think we've quick. ever done it without it four or something. No, I don't think we have either. No. So, well, thank unusual. you. Thank you, Paulie, Bill, Elizabeth.